I was appointed by the Board of Commissioners in 2004 to be the Director General of the organization. The Director General leads the organization. It leads its strategic vision. Um, and I don't know what I did in a previous life to deserve to be in this position, uh, but it's a wonderful position to be in. Um, I feel very passionate about this job. It's an opportunity to do something new. Uh, as noted, the organization is new itself. So trying to meet the challenge of developing a response to this global challenge um, is really a big part of the work of the Director General, trying to work with my terrific colleagues to try to devise a strategy to meet those challenges, to work with governments in a manner that allows them to take responsibility. In many cases, they may not want to, uh, to, to work with them, to work with other partners, including families of the missing, to encourage them to come on board. Uh, so thinking strategically, uh, mapping out what we should be doing, uh, trying to ensure and inspire that other persons who work for ICMP feel that same passion and commitment uh, and drive uh, to assist others uh, in, in meeting the global, global challenge that ICMP is facing, to try to help um, families of the missing, and to, to try to ensure that we build the mechanisms of good governance to secure the, the rights of families of the missing. So, that's a large part of the job without getting into too many details. I think the biggest challenge is a political challenge. Um, and uh, that challenge goes hand in hand with funding challenges. So, you know, unfortunately, in many cases around the world, those that are missing are missing as a consequence of the actions of governments. So ensuring that governments take responsibility for finding those missing persons that they may have been responsible for disappearing is probably the biggest challenge. Hand in hand with that is trying to persuade governments, and that's been a long-term effort, that this issue is important um, and that ensuring government accountability is part of building peace. So getting support from governments to fund these programs and ensuring that states take responsibilities are the biggest challenges. I mean, I know this seems odd given that, you know, people are suffering as a consequence of not knowing where their loved ones are, uh, but in fact, it is difficult. So those are, I think, the two biggest challenges, uh, but we have had successes, and I think most notably, we've had successes in the Western Balkans in persuading the governments there to work in partnership with us and the families of the missing and accounting for probably the largest number of missing persons that have ever been accounted for. The thing that we feel uh, the most emotional about is the efforts that we have undertaken in the context of the Western Balkans. Uh, this is where ICMP began its work, um, and thankfully this is an area where we've had our biggest achievement. Of the 40,000 people that went missing during the conflicts in the Western Balkans, uh, we've assisted the governments in that region in accounting for over 70% of those missing which means that approximately 28,000 persons have been accounted for. Uh, that is unprecedented. We've also uh, submitted evidence in over 30 criminal trials, including in domestic trials in that region and international courts uh, whose work is relevant to that region, including the International Criminal Court for the former Yugoslavia. Uh, this, I think for me, for ICMP, for my colleagues, is the biggest achievement um, that ICMP has been able to engage in so far, and it provides a basis or model for others. And I think it provides a beacon of hope for so many families of the missing that, in fact, governments can take responsibility, that they can uh, find large numbers of missing persons, and that the rights of families of the missing can be secured. So I think for us, this is our biggest achievement. Um, and moving forward, uh, we would like to use the underlying principles that allowed us to find so many missing persons uh, to continue our work around the world. Uh, and we believe very strongly that the work that ICMP does is an investment in peace and security.